moi d'abord. Hi guys, welcome to a little product introduction and video review on a pretty cool little item. What you have in front of you is the Daisy Powerline 5501. This is a semi-automatic CO2 powered blowback pistol that is really a cool little gun. I actually like it a lot. Now I'm a big fan of Daisy. I like their stuff. I use Daisy BBs on almost all my air guns. But as far as BBs go, BBs are BBs. Um, ballistically they're almost all the same. About the same weight, same size just the coating's a little bit different so if you're asking well which kind of BB should I shoot shoot whatever kind of BB you can get a hold of as long as it's the steel BBs this will not shoot um, the airsoft BBs they just won't fit in the gun they're too big now with that said you have a really nice pistol really nice construction all metal um, you do have plastic on the grips and plastic on the magazine uh, the magazine is made a little different really not that bad you have uh, the hole in the back to fill the reservoir up with the BBs. You pull down on the spring, locking it into position, fill this up, and then release the spring. You're good to go. And then you go ahead and place it into the pistol. Now it slides into the bottom and it locks into place. Now when you want to eject it, you just press the magazine ejection like you would on a normal pistol. Pops out and you're good to go. The um, CO2 fits underneath this grip panel. You go ahead and pull that off. There's your CO2 cartridge. I didn't have any bleed off. I really enjoyed that. Uh, I actually tightened the uh, CO2 down with a quarter and it worked really easy. Uh, no problems, no issue. It does come with a little key, but I left the key inside the package. I didn't want to lose it. Um, so, yeah, it's been fun to shoot. I really enjoyed it. Uh, you lock back the panel just like that, snaps into place. The fit and feel of the pistol is really nice. I mean, this thing is heavy. The slide will lock back on your last shot, so when the gun is empty, you're going to know it's empty. Uh, locks back into position. Go ahead and empty it. Uh, empty the magazine out, and then fill it back up. Placing it back in the gun, you can actually release the slide. With the slide release, it works. Uh, the slide will fly forward. Now, if you want to decock the gun, because it is cocked now, and you can see it is red, that means it's ready to fire. You can actually decock it with this little switch here in the back end. You press it forward, and now it is safe and it will not fire at all. Uh, it also has a safety up here in the front, in front of the uh, slide release. You can go ahead and push that forward. You see a little red dot. You know you're ready to fire. To pull it back, you're safe and the trigger will not operate or manipulate. I do like how they uh, highlighted that front post. I'll put a little white in there, and that gives you a little bit of contrast. When you're lining up your sights, it makes it a little bit better. The um, accuracy on the gun, I found it to be okay. It wasn't the most accurate shooting pistol with it. Um, and that might just be because of me. But I found it to be, uh, my groups were a little wide. They're a great gun, fun to shoot. You're going to enjoy it if you already have one. It's uh, really, the weight is something else though. I mean, it's just, it has a lot of weight to it. Now, you cannot adjust the rear sights, just so you know they are set. Um, and the, uh, the trigger is a little chunky. It feels a little blocky, but um, a little tight. But ever, after you get over it, you know, it's a great pistol and very fun to shoot. So thanks for watching the video. Any questions, feel free to ask. You guys have a good one. Be safe. Take care. And if you can, please subscribe. Share my video on some social media. You guys have a good one. I'll definitely be talking to you soon.